Let's do this in five, four, three, two, one. Hey, what's good, y'all? My name is Chris Taylor, and I'm here with my boy. It's your boy Riz. And what's wanna, good? And I want to welcome y'all back to another episode of the Fan Service Podcast. We back to talk about anime, sports, all that good shit. So, Riz, how you been, dog? Dude, been amazing. Trying to keep warm with this cold ass weather. Bro. How about you, homie? Same dog. It's, it fucking snowed today, bro. Them snowflakes were fat. Like, crazy. dude, it, I was taking out the trash, right? And it was slapping me in the face. Like, big ass, like, globs of, like, snow. I'm like, chill. Like, it's not even, like, the cute little, nah, s- like, little no. snowflakes. They were, like, fat, clumped up like, together. Yeah, snow. like, quarter size. Like, it was crazy. It was crazy. But it was kind of disrespectful how they were slapping me. But Mother Nature don't care. Nah. No fucks. Nah. Know. But uh, we just watched the episode of Attack on Titan, and it's episode 61, and it's the second episode of the fourth uh, season, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, bro, Rich, what were your thoughts on it? Because it was, uh, it was uh, probably playing in the background. Uh, yeah, I'm what was sorry. Your, no, you're good, dog. What was, your, uh, what was your thoughts on this episode? Well, honestly, um, they they filled in a lot of information that everybody was like asking or like wanted to know about cuz like last season they like scratched upon this you know little little area where the Eldians stay mm-hmm. so yo yo stop oh my gosh they're just going to bull it is what it is. Yo. <laughs> so good, puppy play. It'd be like that, honestly. It really be like that. It yeah, really but do. um filled out Phil uh yeah. They told us a lot of information we wanted to know and We can kind of see how people are feeling about going back to the island. And Zeke apparently has one last year to, like, live and shit. So this is his last, like, big brain move, like... He, like they said, he's the fucking what wonder wonder yeah, like wonder boy. Wonder, wonder boy, yeah, call yeah. Wonder boy. So um, I'm sure he's like the chosen one or some shit. Yeah. So he has a year. He's gonna try and do it or be close to doing it. Um, it's gonna be real interesting. No, nah, for real. It was a. Uh, it's crazy because so much time has passed and. Like, you got to remember in the, uh, in the series, Titans only have 13 years to live. So, I guess he's on his 12th year, and they got to go back to where Aaron and the gang is. And it's like, like Richard said, it's the it's their final attack. Like, it's like it's their trump card. They got to pull every stunt. And uh, it was crazy. I think in this season, we're going to see a lot from, like, Reiner's perspective. Because, I don't know, Reiner's depressed. Like, hashtag Reiner's depressed. Like, this shit is, like, for real. Like, they touched on mental health in this episode, like, low-key. Like, you saw that shit? Yeah, you gotta like, take care of yourself. No, nah, for real, like, that shit was traumatizing. That motherfucker was laughing at him. I was like, damn, that shit's not funny, but, like... Yeah. They get scared. But, nah, uh, I, I fuck with Gabby. She's she's funny. She reminds me of, um... Uh, what's it? Uh, fucking, uh, the, the short dude. You know, he has, like, a lot of energy. Uh, Connie? That's his Connie? Name? Yeah. That's uh, his, like, I, like his I, I feel Connie, but... But that girl that steals potatoes, bro. Sasha, yeah, yeah. Sasha. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah no, for sure. For like sure. a cuter version. Yeah. She's like, and she acknowledges it, which is funny, so. Nah, she's cool. She's cool as fuck. But now this season's gonna be, it's a slow burn for real, for real. So yeah. The first, the first episode was a lot of action, but the second one, it's a whole different tone. It's more serious. And <clears throat> I like how they're gonna pace it, because I think if they set this up really, really good, they can end this series on a series on a really great note because a lot of series if sometimes they can really botch it like they can really mess it up and Attack on Titan is one of those uh, animes where it's like all right if they do this right this is gonna be like a pillar just for like this new generation I would say and it's a masterpiece so far 
So if you haven't watched Attack on Titan, like seriously, get on that shit. Like you're it's so, un- living it, underneath a rock. Nah, for real. Like if you binge it, it's it's probably fucking amazing. Cause I, I've been watching this since it first came out. So like this has been like seven years in the making. So if you binge it, just like DB's uh, Dragon Ball Super, it's fucking it's fucking amazing. But um, I don't know. You got any uh, final thoughts on episode sixty one, Midnight Train, um, and, uh, Wonder Boy Zeke? Ah, shit. Honestly, not really is, uh... Uh, they introduced one of the other Titans we haven't yeah, heard yet. The, the Lion uh, Titan. I, I think that's his name. I don't know what his, uh, what's his real name. The but Spear Titan? I think that's what like they that. said. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I heard online they called the Lion Titan, but I don't think that's what it's really called. I don't know. She, she said called, like, a Jawbreaker or something? Didn't she say there, that? There was a Jawbreaker Titan. That's one yeah. of the other Titans, but... Oh, that was the... Yeah, they, they talked about another Titan, too. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. So... But they're like in a royal family, so like they're not really, they're they're not neutral, I would say. But I guess they need them to like push for them to mm-hmm. go back to where Aaron and everyone's at. So we'll see another Titan. So I think they're gonna we're probably gonna see all the Titans this season, which I think would be really cool. Man, yeah, I just want to see them battle. It's gonna be lit for sure. I forgot. And is Amir, is Yamir dead? No, nah, I don't think so. I thought she was chained up. I swear there was a scene where she was just like chained up, but she was uh, I forget. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. know I, how they, they, they get look, her. It looked like that ritual because they were what? Remember they, they took her back. Oh, that's fast. Yeah. So I think they they took her Titan. They she did. Dead. They ate her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Rest in peace. If they somehow switch it around, why am be? Cool YM- yeah. So I, it's I don't I really hope she's alive, but I, I don't think she's alive. Stop. It's, it fucked me up when I saw the scene. They were doing that whole Titan ritual, switching bodies and shit. It was crazy. Crazy, crazy. But on a bigger, not even, not even bigger, but more exciting news. Not even, I don't want to say more exciting because Attack on Titan is pretty exciting. But on this one, like movie shit, that's really cool. Spider-Man 3, we're getting all these confirmations of old actors like Tobey Maguire, uh, Andrew Garfield, Doc Ock. Uh, Mary Jane, am I missing anybody? Oh, the Sand, the Sandman sound back one. Uh, I'm not sure about Sandman, but uh, Emma, Emma Stone, Emma Stone, yeah, she signed back on too. Jamie Foxx, Jamie, yeah, Jamie Foxx, bro, it's gonna be a Spider Verse. It's gonna be amazing. They're gonna do this in their. Uh, I just want to see all of the boys back together, them do their Spider Man shit. That. And them interacting with each other, I feel like that's going to be hilarious. It's going to be hella cool. Um, I don't know who the uh, director is exactly, but... It's probably going to be a Marvel director. I mean, who does like... I don't know. Sometimes Marvel, like, does, like, offbeat, like, you wouldn't think of type of director. Yeah. Uh, so like James Gunn, he fucking just came out of nowhere and made Guardians of the Galaxy. That shit yeah. slapped. Dude, Marvel now has so many movies. You saw how many movies, like movies and projects. They're dropping nine projects in twenty twenty one, bro. Wow. Yeah. They like, said blessings. Yeah, no, nah, they dropped a bunch of shit. Um, blessings on blessings on blessings. It was a. Uh, I was just on Instagram scrolling. And I was like, hold on, I see Yo, one title. Stop. Another one. A fucking another one. I'm like, Yo, this is. <laughs> Super random, but no, I'm I'm kind of hurt that I kind of figured yeah. out how since corny, but he's still gonna wrap his ass off. Bro, Bro he can spit. He can spit. Oh, yeah, he can um, spit. Don't for, get for, me for, wrong. He he, yeah. he can spit, but like, yeah, some of his bars. Is, should, should I, I say chance esque? Will fortune it kind of corny. Post acid rap chance. Yeah, yeah, don't no no, no, no disrespect. I mean, I mean Chance, Chance can still spit. spit. Don't get me wrong. Chance can spit yeah. to this day. Yeah, so, if he like I, even he his really newer songs slap. He got some bangers out there, for real, for real. But I was oh, speaking of music, Jack Harlow dropped a fucking album. That shit was yeah, yeah that, that shit was good. That's, that's what they all say. That, that shit, shout out to Jack Harlow. That shit was flames. That shit he. Dropped another bang. I, Overall, classic. just a good production, like, album. Not for, that, was a, that was a perfect way to have a debut album, or 
the perfect features. features. He had Chris Brown on that shit. Adam uh, Levine, uh, Bryson Tiller, Lil Baby. And every feature you had, like, fucking made the song, like, a step up. And right. it fit perfectly. It wasn't forced. No, no, like, It felt... Dude, it was amazing. Not for bangers. Fucking, uh, you got any favorite tracks? Um... Honestly, the one with Bryson Tiller, that shit, bang, bro. Yeah. Um, Avril Lavigne, that one slap. But what about yeah. what about you, homie? Same what, one. What do you think? Same. Uh, the one with uh Chris Brown, best friends. That shit's fucking. Yeah. Up. That's a slap. Mm-hmm. Uh, Twenty One C slash Delta. I like that one. I like when the beat switches on that one because he's like, uh, she's a Delta bitch, you know, flying spirit or some shit like that. I was like, I was like, okay, yeah, that's that's bars, bro. No. Fle- life, life, life flex, you know. Yo. <clears throat> but yeah, it was uh that song, the one out of Levine. I'm pretty sure it's called Same Guy. Uh, Baxter Avenue, the last song, was popping. I, I like the whole project though. That shit was uh. Yeah. Was overall, he uh he fucking just said I did it, and look what I did. Not for he's this like, is I, uh, this is Jack, Jack Harlow. Harlow. That's what I told you. That's what this I is, told yeah. you. Nah, he he did it right. Not for real. He did it right, and this, this is where it got him. him. Not for real. Oh, oh Benny the Butcher dropped some shit. Uh, three thirty in Houston. Uh, Risen, you should really listen to that. That shit was fucking fire. Yeah, uh, I'll listen to it, bro. He, he spit about uh what he got, what happened to him in Houston. Uh, I won't spoil too much, but it, his bar is Benny the Butcher is fucking f- fucking fire. He's from Buffalo. Uh, which is crazy because not, not a lot of rappers come from Buffalo. Yeah. But uh, just a quick, you know, bio. Uh, but he dropped. Russ dropped some shit. Uh, I'm trying to think who else dropped. Oh, Cuddy dropped. I haven't listened to that though. Bro, Cole's gotta drop soon, bro. I hope he does, bro. Like Christmas gift. Either. Either I don't know. Hopefully he does. He does drop before 2021. But we'll see. Knowing Cole. He probably Probably. will. He has to, bro. It'll be fucking fire. He has to. I'm yeah, like you said, he has to. He dropped Simbo on Ice and uh, the climb back. It was. They were. They were definitely inspirational. Very true. You can see what so you can see what he's trying to work with and what he's trying to achieve with his next album or like little snippets of it. Not for real. For real. Shout out to J Cole. Um, uh, so switching to NBA topics because the NBA is about to start in a couple of days or like amazing. less than less than a week, which is crazy. Like I'm still, you see, I switch, I, I switch some topics. That's how quick the NBA season starting. It's crazy. pretty, it's pretty crazy. amazing, honestly, because like I can just remember LeBron winning a championship a month or two ago. Not that long ago. Like wow. Not even back at it. You know what? I'm cool with that because, like, some of the teams did already did have a lot of rests because of the break. So this should be interesting. Mm -hmm. Nah, this season is going to be really cool. I've been watching some of the preseason highlights. Uh, The Kings look really good. The Warriors are going to be interesting to watch this year. The Suns, bro. Yeah, the Suns. Chris Ball is going to make Devin Booker so much better. Yeah. Like it's it's gonna be fucking interesting to see because Chris Paul Chris Paul's the goat like not like not the goat in sense like LeBron sense but like he's he's his own goat like he's the fucking he, in his position a player in his position he's just overall what you want your point guard to be mm-hmm. like he 100%. he makes the right decisions and right his IQ yeah. is amazing but um. Kristen, how you feel about your Rockets now? They John Wall's back, DeMarcus Cousins is back. They're looking pretty good. Honestly, how you feeling? Like I told you earlier, if James Harden can just stop fucking around and like try and mold himself into this big three, it's actually feasible. Like, okay, you might not know them like that, but like they're still all stars. DeMarcus Cousins still wets threes. He's like, okay, he's not going to dunk all over someone yet. Right. But towards, like, when he gets his legs, he'll dunk on someone. Not for DeMarcus Cousins is the fucking beast. He'll dunk on someone. Don't get me wrong. And John Wall, he's already looking fast as fuck. Like, he's looking fast. Like, he's looking recovered. And I'm happy. I'm so happy for that. 
Like not even if like, like James, James Harden, Harden leaves, and we get like, like some, some good, good support, support cast around, around John Wall and Cousins, I would not, not be mad. I'd, I'd still, still be a James Harden fan, fan, but I'd be a happy Rockets fan. Not for real, honestly. You guys do have some pieces now. Yeah. Like you said, James Harden is really has to fucking work on himself. Because I don't know if this is true. I just saw it on Instagram, but they say, like, if they have multiple days off, people know or the team knows that James Harden is going to go party and he'll come back and drop 50, so they don't really care. I was like, I hope that's not true. But, like, I don't know, because at this point, if, like I said, he really needs to become that team player. Like, honestly, like, that that third solid piece to make a big three. Because he's had CP3, and he's had Russell Westbrook, and it hasn't worked out. So hopefully with John Wall and the Marcus Cousins, it can work out. And just, you know, they make a, they're, or they make the chemistry strong, and they're bond strong, so they can just hold it down and whatnot. Yeah, because, like, James Harden never had a seven-footer that can shoot threes. No, never. He had. He's, like, going to wet it. Not for real. I didn't even know DeMarcus Cousins could shoot threes like that. Yeah, no, he can, like, that's he can wet it, bro. I didn't know it was like that. Like, if people, like, leave him too wide open, he's just going to bust that shit. No problem. Mm -hmm. Like, he doesn't care. <laughs> nah, they're probably scared to play. I got to play them on 2K now. That's a scary lineup. Mm -hmm. It's pretty scary. That's a good-ass lineup. Damn. Dude. Yeah, I definitely got to check it out. Check it out. What's up? Do you want to? We could probably do the setup on it on 2K, uh, 2K20 on my oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you can just update the, uh, yeah. the roster one night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. Bro, the Sixers look pretty good. I'm interested to see how they play this year because they got Doc Rivers. Dude. And we got Seth Curry. So. No, they they covered you guys with shooters, so I like how they set your bases for sure. Not for real, because after we lost J.J. Redick, that really hurt. And we lost Jimmy Butler. Like, that year, that team was so fucking good. Like, looking back on it, if we just really, like, if we kept them together, but it didn't work out, Jimmy's with the Heat, and that's, the Heat's going to be pretty good. The this Heat's year. pretty good. Um, I feel like they just miss, they're missing one one final piece. Just yeah, I don't know like what, a though. Solid, just a solid scorer. Like, if Tyler Hero just becomes, like, a straight bucket, it's a wrap. Give him time, bro. He, he, I, I feel like he could do it. If Tyler Hero just straight, like, drops 25 a night, easy. Hell yeah. That'd easy. Be, that'd be clutch. Five, clutch five three-pointers a night and a couple layups, a couple assists. Yeah, so bro. That's all they really need. Jimmy can carry the rest, and then Bam can drop in an easy 15 points a night. Mm-hmm. 10 plus rebounds and he's, he's good, good for a couple blocks <laughs> not for real uh, shit yeah. yeah for real for real got the Jason Tatum sheesh uh, but now nah, it would really help that he got Giannis but he's staying with the Bucks how much was it again dogs 228 million point eight point eight for I don't know a foundation or some shit that shit is the largest contract in NBA history. That shit is life changing money. For big one, ups for his family. Big ups. Like that shit. He's they're all coming to America. I'm pretty sure. They're like, like he already he's helping them. Like it's they're set. Yeah, no. Like Gener shit is crazy. generational wealth. That shit is. Shout out to Giannis. He deserves it. Back to back MVPs. Any one defensive player of the year. So that's really cool. Shout out to him. Young goat rising up. It, Legit, after LeBron leaves, I'm really curious to see who's going to take over the league. Like, he's going to be a toss-up. Yeah. Because, no, like, after Kobe it's gonna left. It's going to be amazing, bro. It was fucking Bron's league. I say Doncic is coming for it, bro. Dog, I think. If Doncic is coming for it. The the fucking Mavs, bro. They're they're dangerous. They got, You got to watch out for them. I think they have a, They can win a championship. Like, they can sneak. I feel like they can, one year they can just sneak through and just do it. Because they got Luka. They got KP. They, they got, got fucking who else they got now? Did they trade away uh Tim Hardaway Jr.? Or they still have I think they still have him, don't they? Uh, I think they still have him. Yeah, they should still have him. They have fucking their team is nice. Their lineup is still nice, but they were talking about trying to get Jokic, bro. Really? If they get Jokic, that'd be a nasty ass lineup. They definitely trade KP for him. Nah, they're keeping them as a big three and would probably trade away draft picks and like they do 
They have Dragon. Yeah, they probably have Dragon. And like a like center or some shit. But Yoki just. The I'm going to see what the Nuggets are going to do this year because they came back twice from being down 3 1 and they're just a young core getting even better. So the West is fucking stacked, bro. It's, it's crazy. It's going to be amazing to watch. Curry's back. Hell yeah. Fucking. Hell fucking yeah. Fucking Kyrie and KD's back. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be real interesting. Um, I'm just happy to watch some basketball again. Mm, hell yeah. NBA basketball is back. Shout out to that. Less than a week. It's going to be fucking nuts. Go Sixers. I hope they win. Uh, win the championship. I'm calling it. I don't know. Hopefully. Get your shit together, Philly. Please. I'm praying. We'll see. I'm praying. Please get it together. Please. So. Anything else though you want to add? I think we covered everything. I think that's it, bro. Yeah. All right. Well. If that's everything we got, I would like to thank you guys for watching another episode of the Fan Service Podcast. Uh, we will catch you guys later. Uh, take it easy. My name is Chris Taylor. It's your boy, Riz. We appreciate you for watching. Peace. Take it easy. Peace. Outro music. I feel like we beat some jazz shit.